The game industry today on Kamabai and today we always talk about Filipinos being everywhere in different industries and now this industry is uh, there a lot of it is underground is that true or false <laughs> not anymore yeah. it's, it's a big industry now okay. so right. again you know there's there's a lot coming out of the game industry and mm -hmm. games are worldwide yes yeah, everybody you, around the world when you talk about games you talk about you know um, video games all right yes. and because of the social media and technology now you can play it on the iPad on everywhere right yeah. but Filipinos uh, but careers in the industry how do Filipinos and Filipino Americans fit in um, I, I think if if someone's interested in, in getting into the game industry they find a specialty they find something that interests them Mm -hmm. uh, specifically for me, I was always an artist. I would always draw. Okay. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to, uh, you know, as I mentioned before, animate. I wanted to animate films. Okay. Um, and that's how I found myself into a specialty. Mm -hmm. Some people, they, they might be very savvy with a computer and programming, so they might easily fall into the, the category of becoming a coder or a, a programmer. Um, you have to find that specialty and find out what it is that you want to pursue in school or you know, in, in your extracurricular activity. And an idea just came to me right now when you talked about the different uh, departments that you have. You have communications department as well to promote the games, I'm assuming. Marketing. marketing. Yeah, marketing. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. if people are, you know, uh, you know they, they, they're not artists, but they're into communications, they're into marketing, yeah. and they love games, I think this is a perfect yeah, fit. It's, right? it's a yeah. team. It's oh, a yeah. team. Everybody Filipinos else. Have, a, have a good position uh, in gaming because you have to understand our culture and where we grew up. Like uh, we're, we're very in tune with Western culture, you know. So we we have this uh, American side of it, and we also have the Asian culture. Which when when I was growing up, I was watching big Japanese robots uh, and stuff, and right. and so. A lot of Filipinos are really into these kind of things. Like that's why games like his is very popular. It, it got inspired by the Japanese, and, and you also a lot of Filipinos are very Western too. Right. How much how much of a family is this group? Do you mentor each other? Do you, did you know each other outside of this outside of the show? <laughs> Uh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's a big group. Everyone, I call the, him Kuya. Eric. The thing is, like, uh, there, there's um, we all work in also different fields and stuff. So, uh -huh. it's our group is more of like a, a social group. Like social we, we just we just want to know each other and ha maybe network and see if we can help each other out. Share ideas. Yeah, share I love ideas that. This stuff. is Bayanihan in the game industry, yeah. correct? Yep. What are the trends to look out for? Trends to look out for um, is digital media. Um, I think we are looking at uh, you know games being all downloadable and digital. Um, you know, gone are the ways of like traditional media, like CDs, DVDs, right. all that stuff. That's that's going away. Now everything's right. going to exist on a cloud, cloud okay. server. Um, right. Everything's going to connect to the internet, and you're going to be able to download um, any game, film, music, and play it. And battle each other online, yeah. right? Yeah, I, multiplayer games. For me, I think there's there's a very active move right now to um, let game development and give access to normal people because uh, recently in the recent years, the technology is just becoming the focus and it's just getting more complicated and more complicated that only big companies are able to right. make games. But right. But we've realized that when it all began, mm -hmm. these people made games in their garage. And so we're trying to bring back uh, some of that okay. simplified way of making games and trying to simplify our machines, give more development tools, give more back to the audiences so that they can make their own games in, in with little money, with less staff, you know. And so there's more creativity by getting more people involved. And there's more chance for people out there, especially the young, the exactly. young ones, to get into the get industry. industry with industry. a very low overhead. Yeah. You know. yeah, it's growing. It's growing yeah. exponentially. Okay. And there, there is so much money going through the game industry now that it's, it's. Yeah, it's a lot Filipino easier. Filipino-owned, are there Filipino-owned game? Oh yeah, yeah. Game there, in Philippines. Uh, we, we outsource to the Philippines a lot, and there's many companies in the Philippines that help the game industry here. Right. And it is a good starting point for people in the Philippines who are not here in the U.S. Mm -hmm. to get into the game industry. I know people who started in outsourcing companies, and then they got good at, in their jobs, and they got hired in other places in the world. Right. And there are also uh, a growing uh, indie group in the Philippines that does, mo does a lot of mobile 
uh, do a lot of mobile work, a lot of casual work, and um, and they're and they're very popular for that. Philippines is very popular for. Okay, I know people are already getting interested. Yes. If you are interested, and if you want to contact these people, mm -hmm. <laughs> look them up on Facebook, correct? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, Filipinos <laughs> in games. Stay. Follow. Yeah, follow. follow. Or Twitter? Are you on Twitter? Not on Twitter. Twitter, Facebook. Facebook, yeah. Twitter, yeah. Facebook. Facebook. Yeah. The Last of Us and Titanfall. We can't wait to play the games. Thank you so much. How much time do I have on the show? 30 seconds. 30 seconds. I have to say goodbye. Thank you. More power to you. Thank, Thank you. you for joining us today on Couple by and Today. We are on social media, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, if you want to get in touch with us as well. This is Mitchell Nelson, Couple by in Los Angeles. Bye. Thank you.